I can't remember exactly when it happened, but what I can remember was how it began. Me, alone in a bar, drowning away my regret, one glass at a time. I'd been running from myself, I guess. I don't know how long I had been there, forever it seemed. But then, all of a sudden, I got this call. I couldn't even remember the last time I had a call. But that phone call, everything, it all started with that call. Hello? Hello? Is this the office of Jack Stone? Stone speaking. How can I help you, miss? I need some help. I can't go to the police, and I have no one else left to turn to. What's the problem? Is somebody bothering you? Yeah, something like that. Look, can we meet somewhere? I really don't like speaking on telephone. Yeah, yeah, sure. What of them is. Now I assume, since you got this number, you know my feeds, correct? Yes, I understand. But we are in business. Where would you like to meet? There's a little cafe on the corner of 7th and Blair. I'll meet you there in the patio area in one hour. 7th and Blair. And how am I going to recognize you? I'll be wearing a long, dark coat with a hood. And do you have a name? Call me Lucy. I knew that there was something different about this case right off the bat. This Lucy girl. She's hiding something. Only people who have something to hide can't call the police. They call people like me. People who don't give a damn about what's right and what's wrong. People whose value systems can be compromised it's just the kind of guy that I am. I was raised by a pack of wild dogs. What would you expect? Hell, the things I've done for money, I would have sold my soul if I had one. It doesn't seem worth it anymore. I've learned my lesson at a high cost. Too high. Who knows? Maybe in this case it's my chance to set things right. As I walked into the cafe, it took only a second to put a face to this Lucy character. Tall, dark hair, soft pale skin, and eyes that could pierce steel. This is going to be an interesting case after all. Just what I've been waiting for. So what seems to be troubling you, miss? I think I'm being stalked. By who? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Death. You're right. I don't believe you. Look, I'm just telling you what I saw. So what are you telling me? You saw some guy in a cloak or something? Out of sight? You gotta be kidding, right? Look, if you ain't gonna take whoa, me seriously. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sit down. Let's not get hasty there. We're just having a little bit of trouble believing that there's anything supernatural about this. If there's anything out there, it's not some bag of bones. It's some kind of psychopath. Well, that makes me feel much better. I'm just saying. I know. You're probably right enough to make your skin crawl. I bet. So what do we do? You just sit tight. I'm gonna do my little detective thing. Like we never had this conversation, you won't notice me. You won't even know I'm there. If this creep does show his head, I'll find him. I need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Just one last thing about my feet. Pleasure to do business with you now. 